week on the program, we're always interested in seeing how ads are made, uh, the tricks of the trade and the many hands behind the magic. Uh, the insurer Hollard recently created an ad featuring a pint-sized replica of a house struck by a disaster. This is also a lesson in using technology, we've just been speaking about that, to enhance brand communications, even on a tight budget. Let's go behind the scenes. So Hollard was invented because there's always a better way to do things, and through that comes inventiveness and creativity, and the same thing applies when we create TV ads. So this is the third in our new series since our brand launch, and it really is inventiveness at its best. When you see the TV ad, you'll see there's a beautiful set um, with gorgeous furnishings that you would have in your own home, but there's also teeny, 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 teeny ones that were created through 3D printing. So most of the miniatures, um, it's been quite a process. It's quite a lengthy process, uh, 3D printing everything. Some of the little models have taken up to seven or eight hours to print each little model. So it's really taking inventiveness and um, innovation and the latest technology with actually quite a small budget and finding a way to do it in a hollowed way where it's just like a touch of quirk and a touch of sass and a, and a, um, a, a joyousness that you will love when you watch that. So the brief was for us to create a third TV ad in the series to talk about Hollard Car and Home. The concept basically came from, I love animals and I have a dog who routinely chews and destroys things like all dog owners know they do. And I just thought it would be amazing if we had this idea of this dog who's destroying this dollhouse, but you actually don't know it's a dollhouse until the camera pulls out. So you think it's actually a real house. And, um, and not just a real house, but you, you actually a little bit in the beginning, the first couple of seconds of the ad, you're thinking it's this huge epic movie, it's the next end of the world um, epic movie, you're going to have a really dramatic score for the, the music as well, um, so you're thinking like what's going on, there's like a, what, what is it, an earthquake, a, a massive water leak, is there a storm going on outside, you're not quite sure, and then the, the twist at the end, beautiful by, by just seeing that it was actually just a dog playing around with the star, I think it's going to be awesome. Or as, we like to call him, or, as we, <laughs> or as we like to call him, Dogzilla. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, so we found, I think, the perfect concept that tells that story. It's the story of from big to small. Whatever you have that you need to ensure, Hollard, Hollard are you guys. Hollard's going to gonna cover you for all of those things. Uh, we cast a delightful dog. Her name is Phoenix. And uh, notice her name is Phoenix. And the catch is that Phoenix is supposed to lift her leg on the house at the end and Phoenix is a she. So we had to uh, tie a string around her leg and lift it up. Smoke and mirrors is what we're about. Hi, my name's Lindsay. This is my dog Phoenix. Uh, she's a Jack Russell Terrier type. Um, I got her to rescue when she was 11 weeks old. Um, the owners obviously didn't want her anymore. And uh, we've kind of just been training and playing and having fun while, while we've been doing this. This is pretty much our third TV thing that we're doing now. Um, so she's not really used to the limelight, as you can see. Um, I've been training dogs for 15 years. Um, I started at the age of 13. And uh, my dogs are my life. So I think that's what makes it all important, is that you make them your friends, make them your best friend. And uh, I think they'll do anything. One of the most important roles in doing advertisements of films is that it's monitored by an animal welfare officer. We have to make sure that the animal is not abused, stressed or overworked in any way. More details on the program on the Mags or Media Facebook page. There is the address. You can also weigh in on our stories on Twitter. Until next week, goodbye to you and thank you for watching. Entrepreneur Philip Marcillo recognized the rising need for cleaning staff and established Klahola Cleaning and Gardening Services. Most people these nowadays, they are busy and they don't have time to do their cleaning. So I saw it an opportunity. I grew up in Soweto 
as a young boy, we used to compete doing garden. That became a passion. Then I started this company. Hey, Arthur. Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm Jana. This is Kona, cool, man. Yeah. Hi, Arthur. Since I'm here, I'm trying. Uh, today, yes, uh, Gardening, we do mostly in schools, cutting the grass and making sure that we take out the shrubs, cut the trees, rearrange also the flowers. We also do individual homes. We also do complexes. So I have a good relationship with managing agents. The waste. I make sure it goes to the proper place, like dumping site, to the waste areas. It mustn't be lying around. Because you can imagine if you dump anywhere, then what will respond to happen? No, my experience with Lakola is, has been exceptional. Their staff is professional, so I'm happy with them. Hi, Sissy. Hey, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Lahola cleaning and gardening services include domestic, industrial and...